Dan Fleck here with your news briefing. Canberra's confirmed international borders remain on track to reopen Wednesday for students and skilled workers. The date was originally pushed back after the emergence of Omicron. Speaking of, the Health Minister remains confident the variant is indeed milder than other strains. Greg Hunt has given an update off the back of the latest info from Atagi and says while things aren't definitive, the data is pointing to the continued effectiveness of our vaccines. The evidence is growing that it uh, may well be more transmissible on the one hand, strong protection against serious illness and hospitalisation loss of life on the other hand and then finally uh, that uh, as a variant it may well be milder. There's been nine new Omicron cases in New South Wales overnight. Authorities there are concerned an event at a Newcastle nightclub last Wednesday will see more pop up too. 84 people who attended have already tested positive for COVID but the exact type of the infection remains unknown. While emotional scenes today as families and friends are reunited after the Queensland border fully reopened to the likes of New South Wales, Victoria and the ACT. The state's health minister, Eva Dar says it's vital residents now play by the rules now that things are opening up proper. Now it is critical that people continue to go get tested, to check in and to vaccinate. There's been just one new locally acquired case in the state overnight while we're expecting to hear from the WA Premier today on when its borders will reopen to the majority of the country. And Aussie power bills have hit an eight year low on average which equates to around $128 a year. It's thanks to cheaper wholesale prices being passed on to households. Open your ears to a new world of audio, radio, podcasts, music and and news. Catch Carrie and Tommy and much more on Listener. Download the new app and listen for free. Formula One's governing body has been quick to reject a protest from Mercedes over the result of this morning's thrilling season ending race in Abu Dhabi. Lewis Hamilton's huge lead was wiped out after a crash forced the safety car onto the track and then all overlapped cars were directed to move out of the way, allowing Max Verstappen to overtake on the final lap. Hamilton says he's got no issues with the results. Uh, yeah, a big congratulations to Max and to his team. I think we did an amazing job. KO there and Josh Hazelwood's been ruled out of the Aussie side ahead of the second Ashes test in Adelaide due to a side injury. Partly cloudy skies in Mount Gambier this evening as we drop to 15 degrees overnight. Tomorrow mostly sunny and 25. Wednesday more sun, top of 23. Catch every ball of the ashes live. Download and join our listener app now.